guys, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I kind of wanted to just sit down and talk to you guys because you know me whenever I get into those zones where I'm just like overthinking or have a lot on my mind. I just like sitting down and filming videos for you guys. It truly helps me out a lot. So for today's video, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys, update you a little bit about my life. And there's really been something that's been bothering me lately that I did want to change. And I wanted to share it with you guys because it's going to be a start of a new journey. And if you guys resonate with me in any way, then maybe we could all go on this journey together. So yeah, this is going to be like a little bit more of a chatty type video. If you're into that, then stick around and we can just talk. So let's do it. Let's start this conversation and let's just get into it. I wanted to give you guys like a little baseline of what's been going on lately. If you are new, I just wanted to quickly tell you that I am in my fourth year of university right now. I am so freaking excited to finish first and foremost. I'm a marketing and communications major. So specifically the fact that like I'm a full-time student and I'm also doing eyebrows as a career and on top of that I took upon myself YouTube. There's so much stuff that have been going on lately that have really made my life feel kind of disorganized. So I feel like with everything I took upon myself and everything that's been going on, I've kind of been neglecting a really important part of my life and that's been fitness and being athletic and taking upon myself a healthy lifestyle. Because of so much of my schoolwork and my YouTube and everything Thing requires me to sit down I feel like I have not been physically active in any way and honestly a couple months ago I headed back into my gym routine and everything and I loved it because working out truly does motivate me and drive me but for some reason like with everything I kept giving myself excuses and kept giving myself reasons to not go like I'm too busy and that I don't have time and that I don't know how to properly work out so I won't see any progress all these like different random types of excuses that I used to use are honestly not good enough of an excuse to neglect yourself and neglect your physical health. So right away I want to like disclaim because I can already tell that people may be thinking after seeing my Instagram or whatever saying Haley you're fit, what are you talking about, you're not overweight, like why are you talking like this? So yes, I've been blessed with amazing genetics, thank you mom and dad, that my diet never really like changed my overall weight. But the funny thing is, is that even regardless of that, being in high school and being in elementary school, man kids are mean. People always Always used to tease me and make fun of me they would call me anorexic they would think that I go purge and I would go make myself throw up like first of all who in the right mind comes up to somebody and tells them something like that I'm not just gonna like say thank you to my genetics and I just got lucky for like being skinny but to be honest at the end of the day I worked really really hard to maintain my healthy lifestyle I mean back then I used to be a dancer I used to dance like four or five times a week I took it so serious I was on so many different sports team I was on the basketball team I was on the soccer team I took the volleyball course I did badminton I did everything and doing all of that it honestly made me feel good and happy and motivated and obviously feeling great about myself and looking back at myself the whole point of this video is kind of to say like that's the part of myself that I miss and I really want to get back into that but like at the end of the day guys it is not normal for a 21 year old to run up the stairs of her house and be out of breath and not just that I'm always late to school so I just like sprint to my bus stop in the morning and it's like 20 meters away but when I get to the bus I'm literally like <gasps> I can't breathe, I need water. Like that's not normal for a 21 year old. And to make matters even worse, my diet is so horrible. Now I have no schedule when I eat. I usually eat like two meals a day and they're huge. Often I wake up in the morning, I tend to skip breakfast. I go right away to lunch. I eat a huge meal and then I don't eat until like eight o'clock at night. That is definitely not the right way to be eating. I would never look into having all my proteins and my vitamins and all my nutrients. And guys, comment down below if any of you have experienced this, but I actually come from a culture where if you fill up your plate, you like had to finish it. I don't know if this is just me, but I would have such hungry eyes and I would honestly put so much food on my plate and then I wouldn't get up until I finished it. It was instilled in me ever since I was little that I had to finish whatever was on my plate. But the problem with that is that my hungry eyes would make such a huge ass portion that I would have to like shove it all down in like 20 minutes, which is oh, so bad. And doing all of this, even though it didn't affect my weight, it really affected me in terms of like how I felt. I wasn't sleeping properly, I would constantly wake up at night because I'm assuming my digestive system would be overworked because I would be eating such big and late meals. But not only that, I mean TMI, but I would always have such problems going to the bathroom. I would literally like starve myself in the morning and then eat huge ass meals when it came to night. Honestly, the effects of everything, I just didn't feel like myself. My mood was all over the place. Sometimes I was happy, sometimes I was sad. I would be cranky every morning. I would feel really nauseous a lot of the time. Like. I really just missed not having any of these problems to deal with. And then I told myself, all these excuses that I've been making, I don't have time, I don't know how to train, these are all reversible things. These are all things that I can adjust, these are all things that I can learn to do, and these are not real excuses. They're not real reasons to treat your body like crap. So basically guys, that's like my overall history of how I've been feeling lately, the mental state that I've been. I've been having so much mental stress from school, and now I even got to a point that's affecting me physically. 
first of all, there's like certain things that just me and my husband see that really bother me. Obviously, he always makes me feel beautiful. He never makes me feel like there's anything wrong with me. But everybody has their like little insecurities. There's stretch marks that I got now that I never used to have. I have cellulite on my legs and on my bum that like I never used to have before either. And I know stretch marks and cellulite are so not a big deal. So many people have them. And honestly, I would never judge it on other people. It's just when it comes to me, because I never used to have that, I'm just not used to it. And I don't want to get to a point where it's on me and it's irreversible. But that's the thing. I know that everybody always advocates that you have to feel good about being in your own skin and girl if you love yourself I am so happy that you're at a point in your life where you can actually say that and you can look in the mirror and you can love what you see because that's really honestly I'm there I'm happy I like myself I do have a confidence that I attained in the last couple of years that I never used to have but if there's something about yourself that you personally don't like not because somebody else is telling you it's a problem because nobody ever has the right to ever tell you that there's something wrong with you if there's something about you that you personally don't like and you can change it and it will better yourself both physically as a person and mentally and emotionally why wouldn't you want to do that and that's exactly why I love sitting down and talking to you guys because not only am I here to tell you this but sometimes you guys just remind me of it as well there's honestly no reason no excuse whether it's your fitness lifestyle your career your job your school your studies anything like that there's no reason for anybody to tell you or give you a reason not to do something you are yes you girl you are the best motivator for yourself and if you're not gonna push yourself to get to that point where you want to be nobody else is gonna be there and push you to do that as well and I'm the best example for that I mean hey my husband is a freaking personal trainer and up to now obviously he would never like force me to go to the gym if it's not something I wanted to do but if my husband is a personal trainer and he didn't get me to go to the gym then that just goes to show that really you are the only person that can get you to do something so basically after this whole ramble and rant I'm telling you guys that I'm starting my fitness journey and I'm starting from zero. Most of you guys know, especially if you're Canadian, it gets so freaking cold here that it's so easy to just cuddle up and sit in bed all day and just watch Netflix and eat whatever you want and just be lazy because honestly, we tend to hibernate when it comes to the winter. But again, I'm not gonna let that be an excuse even though we're coming up to the coldest months right now. And honestly, like I said, guys, I'm gonna start this whole fitness journey from zero. And I actually found an amazing fitness YouTuber. Her name is Whitney Simmons. I'm gonna link her channel right down below. Honestly, what I love about her that she constantly pushes onto people is that her fitness journey is not a diet. And that's so critical for people. People always think that if you're going to the gym, you only care to lose weight or to bulk up or to get muscle and all that stuff. But that's not it. She claims that her fitness journey is honestly just a healthy lifestyle. It's a way to improve your emotional, your mental, and your physical health all at once. So we have to take out all these stigmas and this whole notion that if you're gonna be going to the gym, it's only to lose weight. It's only to get lean. It's only to make muscle. That's not the point. I'm doing this to discipline myself. And at this stage, I honestly need to create some order and balance in my life. I mean, I need to start waking up earlier. The gym can be my motivation for that. I need to start eating better. The gym can be my motivation for that. I need to be more organized and plan out my day. The gym can be a reason for that. So if you have something on your list that you wanna do and you wanna accomplish, don't wait, start it now. That way you can go into January and say, you know what, I spent an entire month following my plan. I'm gonna have a kick-ass year. Whew, I just really needed to get that out. So no, this is not gonna like become a fitness channel or something, but if you guys are interested in like going on this journey with me, I am gonna be incorporating a lot more fitness videos into this channel now too. And that's because if you feel like you want somebody to do it with do it with me so the first video of this whole journey is gonna be showing you guys where I get fitness clothes to look bomb on that first day going into that gym and I'm not kidding I found a brand that is so freaking affordable and it's not like forever 21 or anything that make you and your bum look so good so that whole fitness haul is gonna be going up in a couple of days and it's gonna feature so many leggings and tops and sports bras for the gym oh guys I'm so excited to share it with you so definitely be sure to hit up the notification bell so you guys can be sure to see that video as soon as it goes live but other other than that, I really want to hear your thoughts, so please comment them down below. I love interacting with you guys, and I do want to feel like this is a sense of a community where we can share ideas and opinions. And also, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Guys, you have no idea how much that really helps me out on this channel. I am so excited for two videos a week now, so I'll see ya when I see ya. Bye, guys!